something around here smells funny. The Mare have an encyclopedic knowledge of medicinal herbs. Here in Kotamare is where they prepare their mixes. Apparently, incense is always being burned inside the village. Oops. They have a guard all right. And he's glaring at us. You people there! You're humans, aren't you? Don't come any closer! My people do not want any contact with humans! So you creatures are humans? Yes, that's right. We fled here from the Civil War. We are war refugees. We're low on food and water. On the road, we were caught in the seed fall and now find ourselves in... What are you talking about? I totally fall for your rippling muscles, among other things! No way! You've fallen for Argo? Uh... She looks normal enough, but there must be something wrong with her eyes. What are you implying? Celestine, stop! What are you doing? Get away from them at once! Why? I finally found the man of my dreams! How can you spout such nonsense when you don't even know who these people are or where on earth they came from? But they just said! These humans are war refugees, and they say they want us to help them! And the Trewa is with them too! We can't just open up the village to every outsider we meet! Hmm. You know, he doesn't sound very happy. I forget, is there bad blood between the Mare and Trewa? But we looked after that other human who was fleeing the war that one time. <sighs> what, you want us to stand by and watch them die? Hmm. Let's leave the decision to the chieftain. Chieftain has decided to allow you into the village. But be aware that you will be under observation at all times. I suggest that you don't try anything funny. First, you will have an audience with the Chieftain. It's okay, you can come into the village. I'll show you to the Chief's house. Something's fishy here. I don't get it. Why would they let us in so easily? It's certainly not what I expected. Oh, by the way, I'm Celestine. What's your name? Uh... Hey now, Argo here is way over 60 years old. He's already a geezer. 60? Really? Why are you acting all shocked over that? Didn't you know? The Trewa lifespan is around 200 years. <laughs> so the geezer's name is Argo. Come on, marry me. What? Please stop calling me a geezer. Besides, your proposal was rather abrupt. I have no intention of taking a wife just yet. Okay. Ah, now I get it. With the Mare, there's a huge gap between the outside and the inside. By the way, weren't you gonna show us somewhere? I've got more important things to do right now. I'm sorry, but my companions and I are exhausted right now. So let's continue this discussion after we speak with your chieftain. Uh, if that's what you want, Argo. Oh, that reminds me. The rest of you, what are your names? The rest? My name is Zephy. Hmm, Zephy, huh? You and Argo had better not be lovers. You don't have to worry. Argo and I are just allies. I'm Chriselle. Remember it. You're younger than me, aren't you? Call me Big Sis from now on, okay? I can say with certainty that I'm older than you are. What? But you're smaller than I am! 
ask for me. I'm Juto. You know, if you put on some muscle, I think you could be my type too. Why don't you get big and strong like Argo? I think I'll pass. Celestine! Yeah. How long are you going to keep goofing off? I'll take these people to the chieftain. So go back and continue with your mixing. Oh, I gotta make more! I'm the one who always gets worked like a dog around here. You're always slacking off. If you don't want me to report you to the chieftain, then you'd better get back to work right away. All right, all right, I'm going. All right, follow me. <laughs> what is it? No, it's just looking at Celestine made me think of the old days. <laughs> I was always getting chewed out by Melissa, too. Oh. That's all in the past now.